yeah i stopped using skincare in 2024 like literally stopped using skincare hi beautiful people hello my people hey 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 welcome to my channel my name is lola kumbi and i make videos relating to lifestyle and skincare so i'm talking vlogs rants just and sit sit down videos basically if there's something you like please kindly subscribe check out my videos like this video drop me a comment you know all those fun stuff and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back i really do appreciate you thank you for sticking with me thank you for watching my videos i actually appreciate it now the long awaited video is here and yeah i stopped using skincare in 2024 like literally stopped using skincare in 2024 and why is that um i feel like with skincare i mean skincare is good i started using for context i started doing skincare in 2023 i think january and i think my first no before 2023 i got my first set of skincare stuff in i think 2021 or 2020 yeah 2021 which is the CeraVe foaming wash and like the CeraVe AM and PM moisturizer if you've not seen my reviews on those things go and check it out I, those were my first set of skincare but I was not really I was not even using it I was using the face wash like once in a week basically and the moisturizers I was using it whenever I remembered I was not consistent with them come 2022 I don't even know what I was doing <laughs> i don't know why i was in 2022 but i was not just consistent then 2023 i finished school last uni 2022 and then i was like i want to have good skin like i had good skin i think that's why i was not really consistent with skincare i've never had bad skin i've actually never had horrible skin or ugly skin or whatever i just 2023 just came and i'm like I feel like my skin can do better i feel like my skin can look better and like my first step to do i started getting products i would get body washes and eyes i was using top-notch products i was using expensive products not expensive because i was also trying to do skincare on a budget because i'm, I'm a budget girly i don't believe you should be spending so so much on skincare i just feel like you should find what works for you and use it so i was doing skincare and i was on a budget skincare and it was good like my skin was good i would always get compliment by lala your skin looks good oh lala you're shining oh lala this oh lala that and I, I felt good skincare actually boosts your confidence there's no way you cannot step in with beautiful skin imagine your skin glowing and you looking very nice precious luscious and everything it actually elevates your mood it build your confidence basically and so i would even i started advocating for skincare i started doing skincare video on my youtube because i felt like people should actually do skincare like people need it you need to know how it feels to be very confident with your skin i stopped doing makeup i've not done makeup in like i did makeup in december but that was just for like one time thing but before december i would not done makeup in like the longest time and so it helped my confidence then come 2024 i was back in lagos i was um ignorant <laughs> i think that's one, one of the word i i did not really care basically i was not i was not i felt like i was not going out i was not doing anything and so i just like i just stopped doing skincare i was not using i literally was not even using as little as face wash on my face i was not doing anything i was just basically living then I came back to Abuja and I felt like, oh, I'm back in Abuja, even if it's sunscreen. I I needed a sunscreen. So I was just using sunscreen. Mind you, the sunscreen was not the best sunscreen. If you've not seen my sunscreen review, you can't check it out. You would know which one I was talking about. And I was just using that. And like my skin just dipped. Like my skin dipped. My skin was high up and my skin just dipped. I'm going to leave a, I'm going to leave pictures of how my skin was like last year and how my skin was looking this year i recently saw a video on my skin in like february january and i was like like my skin was still looking like i was not looking dehydrated i was not looking sunburned but i was looking my skin was looking starved 
I don't know. It, do you ever know how it is if your skin is looking stuck? My skin was not looking pretty. I, I started feeling less confident, basically. I started looking like I was not pretty. I started looking, I started feeling like I was ugly. Like skincare actually messes with you because tell me why for someone that was not using skincare before, I started feeling like, oh, I do not look good. I started feeling less confident. I started feeling less of myself, basically. And then I got to, I started talking to my friends and I was like, is this how it feels like to not use skincare? Like I also had a friend, I also have a friend that she too, she kind of stopped doing skincare because of Nigeria situation. Also, that was one of the old reasons that I so kind of stopped. Things I was, I was buying my CeraVe for like, 12,000 and now Saravi is giving 18, 20,000. I was buying Skin Aqua. Skin Aqua of 9,000 is now 15,000. Um, the ordinary, um, my ex, my chemical exfoliant that was like 14,000 is now like 25,000. Just basically body lotions I was using. I mean, I was still using body lotion. I mean, it was not that bad, but I was just doing the bare minimum on my skin. And so, yeah, basically, that's what happened. I, I reached out to my friend and we started talking about how skincare actually helps build your confidence. It actually makes you feel more confident. I don't know if it makes sense. And so I started repurchasing skincare again. And just because I could not afford a lot of the things I was using last year, I could not afford to buy at once. That's one thing, pro tip. Never buy your skincare at once. Never wait for the time for your skincare to finish bam, at once. You're going to regret it make it progressive and so i started thinking okay what do i do i started buying somewhat affordable skincare so from CeraVe, i went to face fat i'm going to be making a review to face fat very soon i should even do it after this video i mean it's not bad but it's not CeraVe. i i bought that and i mean it started making me feel good the fact that i was even the little I was doing, just washing my face and using my lotion and my sunscreen at that, at that time, I still was not feeling myself. I recently just, I started getting, basically, I don't even know the point of this video. The, the point of this video is just that I'm back to using my skincare, baby, and you can see my face is glowing. Like, I'm going to drop a video of how, my, how horrible my face was looking, just to show you that skincare is kind of progressive. It helps you build your confidence. It helps you feel like a better version of you. It makes you feel confident. It gives you your shine. It makes you feel good. And it's just like an encouragement for people thinking of starting skincare that you should actually go into it. They are affordable. You could always come to my channel. There's always a video on affordable skincare. I don't use expensive, expensive. I, I feel like I still use affordable skincare. And I'm working on creating a um, skincare routine, like affordable skincare routine, even if it's for like students, like college students, uni students, even high school students, because Skincare makes you feel good. It makes you feel like a better version of yourself. A little more just on why I stopped skincare. Can we talk on why are the prices of things so expensive right now? And yeah, basically skincare series are back on the channel and I'm hoping to be more consistent on the channel. Check out my other videos and yeah. Yeah. Thank you for watching my video. I hope to see you on my next one. Bye lovelies.